Hello auntie, this is Shakti auntie and today she is going to show us a new recipe. Please go. What are you going to show us today? Uh, this is a typical Bengali preparation, rather let's say from Kolkata, uh, Shada Alu Tarkari or let's say Shada Alu Chachuri. So this is a special preparation from Bengal. It is usually had with uh, luchi, I don't know if you have heard of it, it's with maida, specifically with maida it is prepared and it's a delicacy in breakfast. It's a breakfast menu. Okay. So shall we get started? Yeah. For this I need chopped potatoes and uh, green chilies are the specialty here because that is what gives the you know the flavor to this dish. It doesn't require much oil because once you are preparing, especially if you are preparing it in non-stick doesn't require much oil. Chokchuri is a very typical concept in Bengal and uh, as everyone knows Bengalis cannot live without potato so every dish must have some potato in it otherwise it looks incomplete so uh, there's, there are varieties of preparing this chokchuri. Now this is one preparation and many other preparations you can, this is purely vegetarian because we are not adding any onion or garlic or anything. There is one preparation where you can also do with uh, onion and only with uh, ginger julienne. That also is possible. So that is also another variety of preparation. This I am going to show, it's a very easy and very quick way of making a breakfast menu. So you are in a hurry, you can quickly do some, put some dough. Uh, of maida and uh, for the luchi and prepare the sandwiches. So both things can go on very quickly. So once the oil heats up, we are putting some kalonji, we say kalochire, along with this we would put the green chilies also. The reason we are frying the green chilies is that Otherwise, it would become very, very spicy. So once you fry the green chilies, they let out the flavor. At the same time, they, the spice gets reduced. To be done on medium flame, so a little brownish in color. Once it's fried, so can you see it has turned whitish? Okay, and now we add the they can be diced to small pieces so that they fry quickly. Mix it well. We can keep it covered for some time and then add the salt. At the same time, we have to take care that the flame should be reduced to minimum. After a little while, we add salt to it so that it becomes soft. When do you learn this recipe? Well, uh, I never had this before my marriage, that's some 17 years ago. So it's only after marriage that I got to know this particular recipe. Uh, as I said, it's a very popular dish in Calcutta and it's, uh, you know, it's carried on in the family. So many Calcutta households will have this dish very often. Specifically learned it from my mother. So Andy, I saw you putting kalonji seeds instead of mustard seeds, so yeah. what's the use of that? Now this is, uh, as you can see, this is totally black in color, yes it's called uh, black jeera. Uh, exact translation I wouldn't know, but in Bengali we call it kalo jeera. Now this is special in the sense it has a, um, <coughs> a burning sensation in which mustard seeds also give out, but it's a little different. This is used for medicines also at times you know when you have you catch a cold and uh, you don't have anything around you, you don't have a mix vapor or anything, you can pack it in a small pouch, a clean uh, cotton cloth, make it into a bunch and you can keep you know 
uh, smelling so that the nose is clear. So it's, it has its medicinal benefits also and uh, it's often used in many of the dishes that the ones make. Okay. And uh, now I think our dish is a little softened so at this point we will put some salt. You can see there is a little change in colour in the uh, green chilies. they are no longer that green. If we want, we can add a little more. Those who want more spices, we can add a little more uh, at the later stage. Now, since they are mixed, now we need the potato to be softened. So, we will put some water. We will sprinkle some water. Just we don't add haldi to this. The speciality of this is that at the beginning when I told you, it is called Shada Ami Shada Ami means it's, it, the potato has to remain white. So, let's do a check. Potatoes have begun to start soften. Let's give it some more time. So, how long does this take to cook? Roughly 10 minutes. Of course, depends on the quantity. If it is more, some, say 15 minutes maximum, because the potatoes are diced uh, in a small way, so it's easy to you know soften it up. And when you are putting water, obviously it will uh, soften up. So maybe I think it will take some more time. Let's. Have a seat and do some chit chatting. Okay, so, let's go. So, can you tell me more about the Bengali dishes? Uh, Bengali dishes, if I talk about only this seasoning, that is kalonji. It, uh, as you know, Bengalis have fish. So, this is put in many of the dishes. It's sometimes mixed with some other uh, uh, seasonings also, which we call very popularly is known as bachkoro. Uh, that has a typical flavor. It has all the qualities of you know a little sweet, sour, a little bitter. All the things are put in that patch photo. If you take only kalonji, we prepare a fish preparation with this. Then uh, there are certain other uh, uh, preparations also. We use only kalonji for this. So this dish particularly is only done with kalonji. If you change the seasoning, the name remains the same, but a little. Uh, change comes, you know, in the color, in the taste. So that is where the difference is. And uh, if you ask me, chachuri, this is a very typical term used in Bengal because it's a basically mixed vegetable. Now, mixed vegetable, uh, the healthy part of this is it has got a lot of roughage in it. The parts which we throw away in the vegetables, which can be used, you know, it can, could be cut into very small pieces and could be used as chachuri. So lots of vegetables, whatever you can get for your hold on, you can put it in chachuri. So chachuri doesn't only mean one vegetable, it can mean many vegetables. See all the uh, water has been soaked and the potatoes are also soft enough. So it's almost ready now. Now this is an option uh, if you want to add some coriander. So, for finely chopped coriander, this is my addition to the whole thing. This is purely improvisation. You need not. It's generally not done. But since I myself love coriander and the smell of it, I might as well put a few of it here for the garnish. And mix it up. It enhances the look of the dish and, uh, of course, enhances the taste of this. This is fish is ready. Put the flame off and let it stand for some minutes. Then we can serve. Yeah, sorry. So this dish is done. As you saw, it took approximately ten minutes. Uh, it would have, you know, got cooked even faster. I mean, as I said, it's a very, very fast dish, breakfast dish which can be quickly made and served to your guests. So it's a very popular dish of Bengal and in every household of Calcutta this is somewhere in a week this is done. It can be sprinkled with some nice green chilies if you want a little more. 
of spice. Depends on your taste. It's now done. So please taste it. Thank you. Mm, it tastes good. It's actually really nice. I've never eaten anything like this before. Oh. So it's nice. So now you know a very quick breakfast menu. Yeah. You can have it with parotta, you can have it with chapati, you can have it with whatever you want. Yeah, not bread because this is typically Bengali Indian. Okay, thank you auntie for sharing this. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks for watching. So I can see my auntie travels a lot and likes to collect things from there. So here is, as you can see, uh, these are some shot glasses from different parts of the world, especially Europe, America. And this is the famous windmill from Amsterdam. Here I think anybody would be recognizing this. This is the Tintin rocket. Brussels Grand Square and this is a piece of history in my house this is the piece of the Berlin Wall and this is from Rajasthan the yellow limestone I would like to draw your attention to a gentleman very very famous Satyajit Ray famous film director, writers and uh, a composer very talented person we are a great fan of his this wall is dedicated to him. So we don't put up any other pictures here. This is it. That's it. And here this piece is from Thailand. Who is that? It's a painting, right? Yes, yeah, painting of a famous painter herself. She's Frida Kahlo. And uh, she had a very difficult life. And uh, you know the difficulties feature in her painting. Thank you, Auntie. Good.